So this will be in future. If you go into the real time, that project name will be whatever the client you are working or whatever it is. Okay. So now project underscore run created. Under this project, there will be multiple developers. So you are, I am the developer. There will be multiple developers on there. So now creating a folder for one developer. Okay. This is under this project, we have a folder. So, what in real time, when you go, you will be working under your folder. Everything so you are doing, you will be working under this folder. So, now what we are doing is importing a file into the IDQ. How to import? Right click on the folder, go to new, click on the data object. So, now you have what type of file you want. This is the flat file or whatever. So, mine now I am. Importing a flash. This, this is the so format it will support. So support the Facebook object, data shift object, complex, or the LinkedIn, relational, SAP, everything it will support. But mm -hmm. now I want as a flash. So now so I have these are the flat files I have. So delimiter, mine is a delimiter. So now connect. So it is already default been selected. If you want to create, you can select this option. So click. See, I had that in my source file. I, I want to skip the header. So enable this. Next. Now, that file is imported into my IDC environment. This file I have. So if you want to, everything is shown. So this is flat. Is having you want to see the structure? Yeah. So now the first you really out is the how to import a flat file into the environment. No. no. The second thing we see is put a table. I mean database, I mean relational table into the IDK environment. So to no. import that one, we need a connection, right? First of all, we need to create a connection. Yes. So see that how to create the connection. So first is there is two ways to create the connection here. Yes. This is the option to create a connection for this shortcut actually to come. To view actions, click on this option. See, you can able to see that these are the connection. Mm -hmm. If you want it, you can click on this option. To create a connection order. If you want to create another way, you go to the window, click on the preferences, select the Informatica, connections to select, and the connection is the database connection. On this one, so my source is Arakan. So Arakan is select, click on add. This is the one. Plus, go to the same thing, click on this one. So you can. I am getting. Okay. Connection score. This is my connection. So connection create. This is the connection. So now, domain is this one. Type or I mean Arakan. Mm -hmm. What is the use of your data? Mine is part of my user and I create my part. So here what to change the wherever that they mentioned as this one, I mean in the greater than less than symbol, you have to remaining leave it as it is. Host name is local host is mine. So go for the real time, you know that I will get a server name. This will be my SRI as a war. So you change also as a war. Nothing. No need to change anything. They are changing this one and server name and ID and same SID are provided. Yes. 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 You want to view your connection, you can on this one whether your connection is restricted or not. Import a table from the by using this connection. How to use the relational table? In the case, same thing. You click on one. Click on here. You want folder also. You click on everything. So here also, everything is same. So now I'm relational. 
provide the convenience the connection so for the object we have just i am mean, going to the spot is my database and give to that have just i am as of importing employee is the Enough. It, it allows the connection. So, so now, I mean, the, I mean, see here, I, I already told you the demo. So, if we import a, a PDO into the PDO or table into the particular uh, environment, that we can use it as a source target or lookup. So, if we are not using the source target, mm -hmm. use this particular thing as source or target or lookup. Anything. So, now just imported a PDO. That's it. So now, now we see profile. So now to run a profile, we need a, I mean, a table or PO into the, see, I'm not saying here table or flat file, just run to the, the term here is PD. That means file or table, we call it PD, physical data object. Okay, so we, uh, in Informatica, we call it as a table, I mean, source or target, right? but here, I mean, the plan or the table. We call it anything, whatever the object we have, we call it as a physical data object. So now we try to run that profile. So if you want to run the profile, the first thing is we need PDO. So the PDO is only here having PDO. I need to run one profile on all customers. Here. How to do this? See, I am not writing any query. I am <coughs> not logging into the database as of now. So right click on this one, go to the program. Different types of profiles that we will see later. First, we will see the numbers. Next. If you want to name it, you can rename it, but this is standard of profile. Profile of customer. If you want to write description, you can do again you can write here. So this is where this particular profile is available is project for raw and this is the folder then it is available. So project folder then the particular PD one. So now see this is the post indicator where it will I mean, I mean, it is showing the process of AV that is running or not. So now it is it's running. So now it's complete. Now let's see the result. You can't see. Now, this is our customer ID. See, now, now you can see the values available in the particular customer ID. So now the possible values available in the customer ID. If you see here, there is a statistic also. Total we 2,195 records available in the particular customer ID. Sorry, unique records available in the customer ID. And 99.83% of unique records we have. And 4 nulls we have. Mm -hmm. Now, if you see that null percentage is 0 0.16 and it is increased. So, what we are is now, suppose I want to see what is the values available in the customer ID. So, we want to see the values. So you go here and double click. So now see here, so now I'll do some else. So only four are right here. It's only what is the count? No four. If you want to tell that here, you show the frequency. Frequency in this case, how many times it is available. So now that it is able to see. Our other requirement is I want to see a particular customer ID. So I want to see. Customer ID equal to one nine. Entire record. So, what is the values available in the particular column? Or if you see the tire, see these are the different different values available in the particular customer tire. So, now the second option, what I am doing is I want to see the patterns. That is now X is a string, 9 is a number. Well, in the case, it is having seven digits of data, that is string data. Therefore, in case, this string over, 
nine is have numbers also. My nine of nine only one nine, right? That means only one character of is there. X in the case six characters of data, null data also there. Other possible there. Suppose I want to see what is the length. I mean seven characters of data available in this particular block. Double click on. Characters, they have all this same seven characters. You see, whatever the uh, is equal to seven characters. Now I want to see what type of what is the number available in the particular block. Double click. See, two, three, something, something like that. Now I see what is the other value. What mean? What what it means? What other? Let me click on this and see. See, there is one, one, two, one, three, one. This is all the number. You see the customer type original data type. Is Means these are nine and and others are invalid data. That's a bad data. So this is the way you can able to see what is the different types of patterns available in particular class. So I am going to last name. See, last name having seven, how many digits? Four and eight and digits of data are available. Other class is having. That means it is having. The general thing is this data some special characters of that. That means this is some other data display. In the clicking on the profile, we can able to see the values, patterns also we can see statistics. Statistics in the case, see you see some attire. What is the length of the they are available? So it is has seven. What is the maximum length of the particular data in the customer attire is seven characters. Small size is one character. That means two we see like two, three something that is one. If you see the bottom five record, we can able to see bottom five record. Top also we can see top five. So this is the one more statistics data. Type. See now original data customer type is string, but it is having decimal integer string also in the particular customer type. So this is the in. So you should string data is how to load. So we can showcase this type of thing to the client. So these are the invalid values we have in the. Particular customer tier column, so we can see and we can rectify after uh, by by standardizing we can rectify this a particular. Hmm. So we can run the profile in the ID. So if you have a signal, you can ask me now. So what is the use of this library? Hmm. So any questions? Okay. Yeah. Can we export it also? No, we can export it. Also. You can select and you can right click. Copy also. Okay. You can for the data. I mean, so instead of this one, there is one more concept called uh, concept called scorecard. That is, see, we can only analyze. We can just we can check it out. If you want to go graphically, there is 